Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're doing another scooter video with the Tao Tao. In the last video I asked you guys what I could do to make this scooter faster because honestly I'm having a little bit of trouble. You guys did not come up short with the answers to that question. And I got a ton of comments explaining certain things I could be doing differently or things that I'm doing wrong in general. And then some of you suggested some other things like... It's a terrifying crash. That didn't happen. Clearly I still have the scooter. I did do a couple things off camera um, yesterday. Uh, I just didn't, I wanted to see what would happen. So you guys, somebody left the comment saying, hey, you gotta put this vacuum line, uh, plug it up. I tied it into this line here and it actually did much better. So you guys were right on that. So the suggestion was uh, getting this plugged in because it was like having to choke on the entire time. And somebody else suggested that the air filter in the intake tube that I had was gonna make the uh, engine struggle a little bit because it's a little weird. So I put this other one on. I also went and got an NGK spark plug. So that's in there, but today, we're gonna be testing out a couple of other things and I'm waiting on an Amazon truck right now uh, to show up. I got some seven gram weights we're gonna try. I haven't tried seven grams before. Stock CDI box. This was one that somebody suggested I do um, to test it. Uh, and then the coil and the spark plug wire. Uh, once the Amazon truck gets here, I'll show you guys what's in that package. Um, that'll be a little further on in the video, so make sure to stay tuned and see. I rode this thing around. Uh, it still has the four gram weight in it so I rode it around with these things that I changed and it's still slow but it runs much better as I was doing this I realized um, I don't have the right CDI box I ordered the wrong one so I have the seven gram weights in there that's kind of the biggest thing I was worried about um, I got a battery in here so we'll be able to see RPMs I'm gonna take it on a quick cruise So we got 38 miles an hour. Um, eh, it's not bad. Um, it's better than it was. It's about the same as it was before. It could rev a little higher though. It's only hitting like 74, 7500 I think maybe was the highest that I saw it at. We need to go quicker. We can do 45. I feel like 45 is not hard to do. Just like easily and then above that gets a little harder. Let me try one other thing. I read that you can like de-restrict these 150 carburetors um, by, uh, there's like a thing in the top of the carburetor that you take out, like a screw or something. See if I can get anywhere near something like that or just look at what's inside and see if that's a possibility. Okay, so I took off the cap and from what I've seen there's like a screw on here, or just some threaded rod and then there's like this nut that basically you take off if you want to like de-restrict this you know de-restrict it right uh this one doesn't have that that really isn't an option we are gonna wait for the amazon truck because something's coming thing that you guys recommended and that's what we're gonna test out today something way cooler as i'm going through the scooter and realizing i don't have the cdi box i went and picked up the one from the shop and when i went and uh switched the weights earlier i noticed we had the yellow big spring in the clutch. So I went and took that out too, and I put the stock black one back in because I think we have better luck with this one. I think it just, it runs a little better. We don't have enough power for this yellow one to work properly. Um, so I put the black one back in and I think that's gonna do us some good. And then with the CDI box as well, and we're still waiting on the uh, Amazon truck to show up. So I'm gonna put this stuff back in. I'm gonna put the CDI box back in and see how it starts. I don't remember if that one is actually like fried or not, so we're gonna have to test it, but this is definitely one from the Tau Tau. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the stock CDI box with the black uh, clutch spring. Oh, here we go. All right, well, that's 39 miles an hour. We got one mile an hour quicker, but it wasn't revving as high. So now I want to try the orange CDI box. I guess I should have did that first. Now I'm going backwards with stuff, so. Okay, 
So that was 43 miles an hour, but, but, big, big but. I was going downhill on a hilly road. My dog hates the scooter. That is Rigsby over there is not a fan of motorized vehicles, which is super unfortunate considering the YouTube channel can get up there just downhill. The truck came and I'll show you what we got. We got a Makuni flat slide carb. Uh, it is a 21 millimeter, I believe. With this, we had to get a new throttle cable. Uh, I just got a blue one because it was easy and the first thing that came up, so I just picked it. So it looks like it fits with the 150 intake manifold, but I did have to take the cover off, the little plastic cover for the chain tensioner to get it to fit. I took off the old uh, throttle cable there obviously i'll link this stuff in the description so if you guys want to use it or buy it go ahead maybe get the nibby intake manifold it probably would work better um, with that i think it gives it a little more space i might get one of those next i might just order one to get it um, but for now we're going to test this it's almost not in there so i got it tightened down but hopefully it doesn't come off while we're riding or you know start the scooter on fire or something um I saw that in one of the comments for the carburetor. <laughs> Somebody's scooter started on fire. I feel so bad, but it is a little bit funny. Luckily, I think they were okay. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna toss this stuff in. Uh, like usual, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna take this thing out real quick. I'm gonna turn on the GoPro and we're gonna just see what happens. I did a little bit of tuning on this thing, but it's got a long way to go, but it fired up, so that's, that's sweet. see that <laughs> that guy freaking almost he's just driving down the road like on the wrong side on that four-wheeler i would call that a success uh i haven't looked at the top speed yet hold on 41 it's a little slower but that is to be expected it is like dramatically quicker to whatever speed so that's the plus of the carburetor being a flat slide highly suggest but if you're gonna buy it, I would suggest getting the right intake. Um, it scared me the entire time. I was worried about the carburetor falling off. Um, also, I don't have an air filter on this thing. Don't do that. Just get a filter that works before you even decide to run this way. Oh, see, look at that. I barely touched it. <laughs> it fell out. It fell out of here. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna leave that for now. Uh, we're gonna play with this. This can be increased uh, I know I'm kind of leaving halfway through this part of the project, but I'm gonna do that so we can work on it in another video. I appreciate you guys as always. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you guys are new here, subscribe. Um, if you guys really want to support the channel, uh, you can become a channel member and be cool. There's only one channel member right now, and uh, he's the coolest. He's literally the coolest human being that there is. So you could be like him if you want but you gotta click that channel membership thing. Other than that, you could buy some merch. Uh, you could be halfway as cool as him by getting some merch before I leave. Put in the comments uh, what I need to do with this, uh, other than getting the right intake or a filter on it and tuning it. I need to tune it properly. So I would say this is one of the bigger things that I've done uh, that is like performance oriented and it definitely helps uh, on takeoff. Just overall feel of the scooter that felt super good riding it around there. That was cool. Except for the part where I almost went head on with that guy. That was not feeling cool. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.